Hey guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather. I'm standing right here beside my weather station. Um, this is the Ambient Weather WS2902A model. Um, I've had it for about a year and a half. It's January 1st, 2019. Happy New Year's, by the way. And um, I just kind of want to give a brief review on it. Um, this isn't going to be a putting it together review. This is going to be kind of a it's already here and already mounted and in place review. And kind of give y'all a little bit of an um, idea if you are struggling for a place to put it. We live in like a cul-de-sac like me and you got kind of some wind wind issues going from one direction. Um, I just kind of going to give y'all some ideas. So my weather station's on my roof. Um, it's on my roof because if you kind of look around the surroundings of my house, um, there's no real good place to put it if i go over my roof line here i'm kind of in a cul-de-sac um and i can't really mount it anywhere without it kind of being an eyesore so you know i can't really put a pipe into a concrete a foundation or anything i don't really want to do that and a lot of people don't and i don't really live in a in a farm area you know out in the middle of nowhere or in, where I got a good feel to put it somewhere to get like dead on accuracy readings. And I also have this big, these two big oak trees right here that when they have full foliage on there in the summer, which is the winter right now, so it doesn't affect it much. I got, I get wind blockage from the west. So I kind of narrowed down all the locations I could put this, this ambient weather station. Um, and really this was the best place to put it. I had an old, satellite dish um kind of anchor slash um just place to hold that dish y'all know what i'm talking about the dishes you see on houses a lot of people end up leaving them there after they're not using them anymore well i kind of just ended up taking that dish off and using that and then putting this piece of pipe up to my weather station and it works get a little closer here as you can see i just kind of rigged something together not really rigged it but i had some spare bolts and nuts and stuff and clamped it you know as as tight as i could to this pipe right here and you know got it as tight right there as i could um now when you get winds up to maybe five ten miles per hour there's a little movement to it it kind of wiggles like that but it doesn't wiggle much and it doesn't really affect it much now it can't affect it when you get a windy rainy day and it can skew the rain totals but guys you know that i can deal with that as something that i can live with and it's not it's not huge um these weather stations they're not designed to be dead dead on accurate now some of them are some of them you can pay several hundred dollars like the davis ones but you know Let's, let's be honest a lot of people can't afford that much so that goes to me kind of saying you know just just a just a couple things that i have to deal with with this weather station a lot of people put theirs on the roof like i have um roofs obviously heat up big time in the summer um mine does i live in south carolina man it's like hell here so you know 95 degree days are not abnormal at all so even with mine being i'm i'm like see this camera's probably sitting at about a little over six foot this thing's probably you know seven eight foot off and even at my roof line being at an angle here it's probably closer to the side of this roof than it is to the base here so in the summer when you get what we call the southeast ridges around this area where you get basically stagnant hot air with hardly no rain you don't get much wind flow and you get this 95 to 100 degree days and the heat just pretty much radiates straight off the roof um that's why they say putting on the roof isn't really that good unless you've got this thing 10 to 20 foot off your roof now let's face it you know a lot of people a lot of people can't do that they can't put something 10 to 20 foot off the roof and luckily this thing is pretty much at a perfect angle where you can't really even see it over my roof line for it to be a bad eyesore so mine's actually you know about the best place i can put it in my yard in my situation everybody's situation is different though so the thing that i have to struggle with the most i'd say in the summertime is like i said in them hot 
hot days where you basically get the heat from the roof right here and it radiates to that weather station and it could be about 90 95 degrees and you know it, the weather station say it's 92 the weather station might be reflecting 95 um, now those are the longer this normally happens on days where you get the um, higher sun angles you get the longer days um, the lower sun angles probably when you're starting to get into September which is still very hot here um, it's not as big of a deal because the sun angle is getting lower it doesn't affect it much all those little small things kind of affect the weather station when it's on the roof um, so that's cause that's kind of like the main thing I, I deal with I think that kind of irritates me sometimes but again, again that's not really the weather station's fault that's kind of the surroundings and I guarantee you a lot of other people deal with the same thing you have to put theirs on their roof now one one big thing I recommend for any weather enthusiast who really wants to compare super accurate totals that you know are correct with your weather station is get one of these things right here you see it I don't know if you can see it on the camera but get one of these babies right here the big dog what do you call them coca Ross grain gauge man I, I'm not gonna lie I'm not sure how to pronounce that anyways um, that's what the National Weather Service recommends if you look closely that is where mine is sitting I document it daily you can compare it to your weather station and you can really see how accurate something like rain totals is so so to me that's something that I can really gauge really well now one thing that I've noticed is on light rainfall events it's pretty close it's pretty close to the gauge right there um, heavy rainfall events like a thunderstorm right overhead and, that, and it's just raining buckets like an inch an hour well around here it rains a lot harder than that but um, the rain station off the, off the off the ambient weather station right here it might say it rained an inch and a half of rain but really the gauge down there might have totaled up to maybe an inch and a little ch you know a little bit of change you know but you kind of have to deal with that another thing is because mine has a slight wobble in the wind and not everybody's does but mine has that slight wobble um i noticed when we've gotten a couple tropical storms and hurricanes pass close here and you're getting kind of wind driven rain it wobbles a little bit that'll cause that thing right there to set off again and set off more is what i meant and it'll kind of give you a little bit of inaccurate totals um, that's why I recommend getting that rain gauge by the National Weather Service um, that's the rain totals they go off of they don't actually go off rain totals off a, a weather station or anything like that so so places you really want to avoid putting it um, I've seen people put it on the on kind of like the edge of the roof or just on the roof in general and it's like only a foot or two kind of off the roof line guys you're, you're asking to get ridiculously ridiculous temp totals if you do that for instance if it's 90 degrees outside you've got a foot or two off your roof line it's gonna read if it's 90 degrees it's gonna read 105 110 degrees that's not accurate and that's not fun because you want accurate totals about as accurate as you can get um, avoid putting it in anything obviously metal that reflects heat it's gonna bounce the heat right off really guys putting it on the roof like I have mine right here it's not good unless you have it super high off your roof where the wind can get up under it can blow blow the heat off the roof blow the heat radiating off the roof or your heat just flat out can't reach the weather station from your roof because these shingles that I'm on they get hot in the summer um, so that's some things to avoid um, you obviously want to avoid putting it under any trees under anything I think that's common sense though you don't want to right beside somewhere that's gonna block wind one of the biggest things and the hardest accurate totals to get in my opinion is wind and I know that I don't always get accurate wind totals where my where I'm at um, because I got these two gigantic you know 40 50 foot oak trees blocking winds from my west I still get winds pick up winds from the west um, but 
it's probably not as accurate as they probably could be. Um, so that's some things to watch out for. Obviously you're out in the country and you can design something that, that works a heck of a lot better than when you're in like in an urban area like me. Um, that's obviously the best situation, but it's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard to do. Um, you have to kind of figure out the best place to put it. The, the thing is, is I would have a place that, to put it before you buy it. Um, I did, I knew exactly what I was gonna do, and that's what I recommend y'all do. So one of the coolest things about just owning a weather station in general, most of them have, um, have it where you can do this, is the apps that you can get. You link it up to Weather Underground, and I mean, you can put it on your desktop at work, you can just check it on your phone. Um, some cool apps I have are, uh, let me see here, um, this is a great app to have. Um, it's called PWS Monitor, and it's quick, guys. You literally just click it, and it, it's kind of entwined with Weather Underground. It updates with that. It's quick right now. You know, it's 48.2, dew points 32.4. Um, it's quick. You literally just click it, and it pops right up. Um, well, I was just on it. Um, with this, I have it saved as my favorites, Weather Underground. Um, that's my save link. Here's mine. Um, mine updates pretty often. Shows your location, everything like that. Shows data down here. Um, it, it's it's awesome, guys. Um, it, it, for a weather geek like me, it is it is super cool. And you also have their site, which is their ambient weather. Click that. It shows this. It also shows. Um, your inside temperature which which is cool for me because I like to know the temperature inside my house when I'm away from my house so I know how good kind of my AC's working my heat's working it kind of tells you if something's going wrong and you're away from the house you know and that's off the display inside the house that comes with the station um, that thing's cool too but you, you can you just you know you got everything on your phone here and you know that that, that that's really cool for this station um i mean you, you you know if you're kind of away from work and i mean you know if there's a storm at your house but there's not a storm where you're located you can keep track of pretty much how much rain's falling so that's really cool so pretty much the last thing i got to say guys is this weather station is probably the most bang for your buck weather station on the market um i've had mine for a year and a half and um it, it's it's still holding up it's good it hasn't moved hasn't broke hasn't hasn't felt fall you know you know it, it's awesome you know it's it's only a 170 bucks on amazon probably the best place to buy it and i tell you what i haven't had any troubles with it it's pretty much accurate bang for your buck meaning it's the most affordable best weather station out there for $170 you're not gonna find a better weather station for that amount of money out there um, you know I'm not the only person who said it. there's been a lot of other people who have said it too um, like I said this is the only struggle that you're gonna find is, is depending on where you live finding a good place to put it but if you can get past that and you can figure that out this thing's awesome and uh, I recommend it for anybody thanks for watching guys